In this video, I'll show you how to horizontally shift a quadratic function along the x-axis. The question asks, use transformations to graph y is equal to x plus 4 squared and y is equal to x minus 3 squared. I want to start off by writing out the vertex form for a quadratic. It looks like this, y is equal to a bracket x minus h squared plus k. And so far what we've learned in our previous videos is what this a does. And we learned that this a controls vertical stretches and compressions, and it also controls the reflection of the parabola. But we haven't learned what this h and k do to the overall shape of the parabola. And that's the purpose behind this video. We already know what y is equal to x squared looks like, and it's the most basic of quadratics. And it has the points 0 and 0, 1 and 1, 2 and 4, negative 2 and 4, 3 and 9, and negative 3 and 9. And you should be familiar with this already. I'm going to connect these points. And you should end up with a problem that looks roughly like that. So our first equation, and I'm going to represent this in pink, is y is equal to x plus 4 to the power of 2. Now, if you ever run into a situation where you have x and a number being added or subtracted to it, what this will do, this number here, is it will horizontally translate the parabola. If it's positive, it will translate it to the left. If it's negative, it will translate it to the right. So in our case here, all of these points along this parabola will be pushed to the left by four units. For instance, this point right here is equal to zero and zero. It will be pushed to the left, so your new point will be negative four and zero, which will be right here. This point, which was negative one and one, will be pushed to negative five and one. And the same thing goes for every other point that we had initially. And this point was at negative 2, and now it becomes negative 6. This point was at positive 2, so it becomes negative 2. This point was at negative 3, and now it becomes negative 7. And this point was at positive 3, and now it becomes negative 1. And there you have it. That is a horizontal shift to the left. Now in our next equation, we have minus 3. Now remember what I said, if it's minus, it moves to the right, and if it's positive, it moves to the left. So in our case here, all of these points will shift to the right by 3. So our new vertex will be at 3 and 0, and we'll also have a point here and a point there. I'll just erase this so you can see it better. This point will be shifted 3 to the right, and this point will be shifted 3 to the right, and you should end up with a parabola that looks like this. And I'm not going to forget these. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And this even has a y-intercept at 0 and 9. So now you know what this h does to the parabola in vertex form. It acts to translate the parabola left or right, which is known as a horizontal shift. And so there you have it. That is how to horizontally shift a quadratic function along the x-axis. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.